Hi, my name is Jared, and this week in Rideshare, hosts dump their homes, drivers could lose their jobs, and senators go after Instacart. Legal Rideshare breaks it down. As the pandemic continues to sack the economy, Airbnb hosts are dumping their homes. CNN reported Christina Zima, an Airbnb host for over nine years, who managed over 25 homes, is looking to offload two of those homes due to the virus. On Tuesday, Uber's CEO defended his position on the Grubhub merger, plus added a very interesting take on the gig economy. The thing is, no one's really making money in this, is what he said, so businesses themselves have to be sustainable in order for this to work. While Instacart has promised to keep shoppers safe, two months later, most are still without masks. Some workers have received two kits, while countless others have received nothing. On April 23rd, they claim that they are sending out tens of thousands of shipments a day, but it could be that the shipments are only hitting certain parts of the country. On Thursday, Uber made it very clear for drivers looking to become full-time employees that basically said, you're gonna lose your job. CNET reported, quote, of Uber's 200,000 drivers in the state, the company said up to 76% could lose their jobs. A few months ago, Legal Rideshare broke the tip-baiting scandal to CNN, while today, senators are demanding that the FTC take a closer look. CNN reported, quote, as the senators indicated in the letters, online delivery companies have faced backlash over the years for how they've handled compensating workers. And that is it for this week in Rideshare. See you next week.